Frankie from one man of Italian descent to another, and to all true blue Italians out there, go easy on me for this one. But Frankie, tu magnifico bastardo. <laughs> That's right, Frankie Vetrano, you magnificent bastard, you Italian gem. The Bruins beat Pittsburgh 6-2 to two on the Penguins' home ice. And me and my terrible Italian accent aside, what a game this was. It very well could have been 7-2 to two, as the Bruins beat the Penguins a combined 9-2 to two in back-to-back -back games. Boston now at 18-9-4, continue their upward trend as Pittsburgh continue to falter. Now at 15, 13, and 3. Now this game didn't start off too well. Sidney Crosby steals the puck along the back end boards about midway through the period, gets the puck to Connor Sheary in front of the net, who fires it past Tuka Rask for his first career NHL goal. And Connor Sheary looked great. Perhaps it was a bit of a fluke, but regardless, he had a great game finishing with a goal and an assist. However, under two minutes later, after that goal, we have our first goal from Frankie Vitrano. Landon Ferraro, my God, what a pickup he's been. Outnumbered two to one, the puck ends up on the tape of Ryan Spooner, who finds Frankie Vitrano. This shot was something special as he gets his first goal in nine games. He hadn't scored since November 25th against Detroit. Just what a play this was. Ferraro's amazing effort. Ryan Spooner's amazing dish. He's been incredible in the past couple of games. And then Frankie Petrano finally gets on the board. In the second period, the Bruins would take their first lead of the game just a minute into the second period. Patrice Bergeron. And who else would he have been assisted by than Brad Marchand? Marchand, the penalty kill specialist, does it again. Pittsburgh turns it over in their own net. Marchand just keeps on fighting for it, eventually gets it to Bergeron, comes into the zone and snipes his 10th goal of the season. The lead wouldn't stand up long. Trevor Daly gets his first goal as a Penguin since being traded there. A shot that deflects from the point, but a good first goal for him. That got Connor Sheary, the assistant Crosby, his second assist of the game. But from there, the Bruins wouldn't look back. A shady penalty kill call gets the Bruins a power play midway through the period. And to be honest, the officials weren't great for either team tonight. There were a lot of bad penalty calls. But ask and I shall receive. That was the story of this game. In the last episode, yes, I put it up late, but in the last episode, I say Frankie Vitrano is probably going to be scratched and Louis Erickson needs to start scoring. Ask and I shall receive as Louis Erickson chipping away in front gets a goal, his 12th of the season. Spooner gets another assist, his 12th of the season. Louis would miss another amazing chance later on in the game, but he gets the power play goal in here, grinding it out in front. I love the power play setup of just having Erickson in front, ready to chip away at those goals. Third period, and again, it's another quick goal. This time, only 35 seconds into it. Brad Marchand, again, working hard along the boards, finds Chara up front. His shot off the back glass bounces right in front for an easy goal by Bergeron. Again, Marchand and Bergeron connect Bergeron. Two goals up now to his 11th of the season. That put Pittsburgh down for the count. You did have a called-off goal for Landon Ferraro. Some traffic in front. Max Talbot in the crease. Ferraro ends up finding the puck and burying it. They call it a good goal at first and then wave it off without there really being a proper challenge. And already that's my question to you. What did you think of this called off goal? I could see it going either way, to be honest. And thankfully it didn't really affect the outcome of the game. But it would have been really nice to see Landon Ferraro get a goal after how hard he was working throughout this game. Just over midway through the period, we'd have a crazy goal. It's Jimmy Hayes around the back of the net, beating Ryan Spooner. Somehow doesn't go in, and then Frankie Vitrano just keeps chipping away. You play until the whistle, and it paid off there. He doubles his goal-scoring total, going from two to four on here alone. And this game, honestly, my player of the game, I'm calling it already, a lot of people are going to say Frankie Vitrano because of the hat trick. I say it's Ryan Spooner who assisted on all three of Vitrano's goals. Spooner, Vitrano, and Hayes looked great in this game, but Ryan Spooner, really, really impressive. You cannot understate what he did in this game. And exactly three minutes after Vitrano's second goal, he comes in, takes a shot, gets his own rebound, and puts it past Zatkoff for the hat trick. An amazing game, an amazing performance again for Frankie Vitrano, his first career hat trick again. You'll always hear it, an undrafted prospect. And again, right as I say, he really needs a big game if he's going to want to stay in this lineup. He absolutely has one. His best game so far as an NHLer. 
Now again, I don't think the story of this game will be what the Bruins did as they continue to trend upward. The story is just what a mess the Pittsburgh Penguins are this season. Really, it's sad to see a team with this much talent falter so terribly. I will certainly be keeping an eye on what happens there in Pittsburgh. I don't even know if Mike Sullivan's going to make it to the All-Star break at this point. I'm sure they'll give him a chance, but this is just not looking good for Pittsburgh. A retooling certainly seems like a must. Although they have obviously some great pieces in there, some great supplemental pieces. It was good to see David Warsofsky on an NHL team. I did like when he was here in Boston, but again, someone else who just kind of got edged out by younger prospects. But overall, guys, just what a fun game to watch. Jimmy Hayes gets another point. It's good to see him back in the lineup. Louis Erickson gets the goal I was asking him to get. Landon Ferraro has another strong game. Bergeron and Marchand continue to tear it up. Colin Miller looked pretty damn good in this game tonight. Ryan Spooner has been a monster, a four assist game tonight. Again, I love what Frankie Vetrano did, but God damn it, Ryan Spooner had his best game as a pro, flat out. But again, question to you, what do you think of the no goal call on Landon Ferraro's goal? And that will do it for this episode. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe for more. Of course, I do recaps after every single Bruins game. So again, I will see you on Sunday, maybe Monday, if I can actually get these videos up on time after the Bruins play the New Jersey Devils.